quite a number of years ago, I did a window upgrade on my first truck camper, which was an Arctic Fox 811. I purchased windows from a company in Vancouver, Washington called Motion Windows, and that is this window right here. So that's a vertical slider, and you can see that it's installed in the back of the camper. So on my Arctic Fox 811, I had this window over in that location, which is where the slide out was on the 811. This is an Arctic Fox 992, and this window happened to fit in my 992. So when I sold my 811 and bought the 992, I swapped the two windows and took the original window out of this location, installed it in the spot where I had put this in my 811 and then put this slider in my 992. So today we're going to describe the process of doing that window installation. Good afternoon, welcome back to my channel. So behind me here is an RV window. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to replace or reinstall an RV window. So what we're gonna do is take a closer look at this. I got it setting out in the sun so that the old sealant kind of has a chance to heat up and make it easier to scrape off. Windows are held in place with a clamp ring on the inside. And that clamp ring has screws in it that then go into this channel. You can see where the existing screws were. So first what we're gonna do is scrape off all of this old butyl sealant and then get it all cleaned up and then apply new sealant. I'm going to start by using a plastic putty knife. And we don't have to perfectly clean off all of the old sealant. We just want to get the majority of it off. See if there's a little bit down here, it doesn't hurt because it's below the actual mounting surface of the window flange. And I could even just reapply some new sealant in areas that didn't have a whole lot of thickness, but it's really better just to scrape it all off and start from fresh. It's like right, right in this area, it's all compressed. I have some other projects that I'm working on where I can reuse that sealant. So I'm just gonna kinda wad it up in a ball and set it aside. There's two different kinds of sealants used on RVs. There's a, a regular putty style material, which kind of has the consistency of clay, and it kind of feels a little bit oily. And then there's butyl tape, and sometimes people call it butyl putty. But the butyl stuff is really stretchy like that. The other putty is not stretchy at all. When you pull it apart, it just breaks away. These little black pieces are some spacers. I believe this was the, yeah, this was the bottom of the window, so there were some spacers in place to center the window in the window opening in the wall. And the reason I'm doing this project is I took this window out of one RV, pulled a different window out of another RV, and I'm swapping the two around. This would have been a little bit easier to peel off if I'd left this window in the sun for several hours where it would have warmed up more, but it's only been out here about 15 minutes. I think that is probably good enough because as we apply more sealant, it'll mix with the old and compress and just be just like there was one layer of sealant there. I got the majority of it off anyway. Here's what the clamp ring looks like. So this surface is the inside and this is the outside. In this particular window installation, the split here at the top, well that's actually the top. So it doesn't matter which way is top or bottom, but having the split at the top is more aesthetically pleasing because this will generally be hidden by your window shade or any other kind of window treatment that your RV might have. So we'll peel this back and it's a lot easier to work with by leaving 
the backing paper attached on one side. And they make this in several colors. It looks like I bought off-white. If you peel the backing paper off, then it becomes a bit of a challenge to apply it because it tends to want to stretch quite a bit. And it's okay if you have some out over the edge of the window. In fact, that's not actually a bad idea. Once you get the window clamped in place, then after a few days, you can come along and trim off that excess. And I'm just applying it so that the backing paper is right up against the frame of the window. Pulled off a little bit of extra, so we're going to do a little bit of an overlap right there. Then I want to go around the entire perimeter of the window and uh, just press it into place to make sure we've got good adhesion to the window frame. Otherwise, when we pick the window up and take it out to the RV, it's going to try to, this tape, the putty might try to just fall off. You can see I had a little bit of an issue right there on that corner. Some window frames are flat, or I should say flanges. This one is kind of concave from the inside, meaning the inside is recessed in further than the outer lip. So with that done, I think we're ready to go ahead and haul this out to the RV and show you how to install it. So here's the outside of the RV. It's kind of hard to see with the bad lighting in my shop, but I've already used some bug and tar remover and cleaned off all of the old butyl tape as well as a Proflex RV sealant. The sealant went across the top of the windows and down the side. You can almost see maybe a little bit of residual right, right there. And like I mentioned before, these windows do have a top and bottom. The bottom here is indicated by the vent holes. So we'll pull off backing paper. Installing the window is a lot easier if you've got two people. The way one person can get some of the screws started from the inside while the other person is holding the window from the outside. Once you have the window in place, then it's time to go ahead and position the clamp ring. I have tied up my window shade. Any kind of window treatment always gets in the way and I can't really remove this because it is attached to the wall and then this little trim piece is nailed down to the top of the plastic base that holds that. And installing a previously installed window is going to be a whole lot easier because if you noticed earlier on where I pointed out the, where the screws go in place the two pieces of metal are separated. Installing a new window is a challenge because your screw actually has to force its way into and spread that portion out. When the window is not installed with square drive screws. I would highly recommend switching out to those. Square drive screws or Robertson head screws give you a much better engagement with your tool so you don't have to actually put any downward pressure like you would on a Phillips head screw. For starters I'm just going to install all of these loosely and this is where I end up doing battle with the, the window treatment again. Fighting with this window treatment is a complete nuisance. Once you have all the screws started, then you can go ahead and go around and tighten them all. You don't want to tighten them excessively tight because you risk snapping the head off of the screw. And I peeked on the outside and I can see that the sealant is kind of oozing out around the window which is exactly what I expected it to do. After about a week or so, I came back and tightened the screws down just a little bit more, and then some of this sealant butyl tape oozed out just a little bit more. And then 
you can trim the excess off with a putty knife or you can leave it or you can trim it off and then run some GeoCell ProFlex RV sealant around it. It's just really personal preference.